Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this beautiful day, Daisy Awards 2021. And now we're going to start it with our Chief Nursing Officer, Monica Bailey. I'm Monica Bailey. I'm the CNO here at Laguna Honda Hospital. And today is a day of gratitude and recognition for all of you nominees who have received nominations for the Daisy Awards. For those of us who have the opportunity to read the nominations, we were truly inspired by your stories. The World Health Organization has designated 2020 and 2021 as the international years of the nurse and the nurse midwife. That has never happened before. This is because nurses are transforming health around the world. And we all should be very proud to be a part of such an accomplished profession. All of you in this room have exemplified the art and the heart of nursing and the care that you deliver to our patients and residents at Laguna Hall Hospital. We have a special message from our Mayor, London Breed. I'm Mayor London Breed. As we celebrate National Nurses Week at Laguna Honda Hospital, I want to thank you for everything you have done to keep patients and one another safe. Your work is critical this week and throughout the year. During the global pandemic, you have made the impossible possible. Because of you, we were able to keep COVID contained among the most vulnerable populations at Laguna Honda. Your swift actions, compassion, commitment and diligence have saved countless lives. You all should be incredibly proud of the work you've done to set an example for other healthcare professionals throughout San Francisco and around the world. You are the true heroes of this pandemic and our city is truly grateful for your service. Uh, you know, first I want to just start by saying how much I thank all of you for such a tremendous performance during such a challenging year. And as you know, uh, long-term care has been the hardest hit of all patient populations when it comes to the COVID-19 virus. And we've had over 700 residents, their lives in our hands. And for not one single moment have I ever doubted that you would come through for our residents. So thank you very much for your tremendous performance during this year. It's great to be here with all of you in a room, right? We were a little far away from each other, but what a, what a, what a new beginning again. And, you know, Laguna Honda has always been such a special place. Laguna Honda has always been an example of what is best in San Francisco in terms of our care. And I think COVID, and despite the incredible year that you've had, that we've had, that our residents have had, and their families have had, Laguna Honda is not only a national example, but I think it's an international example of the best possible care that you can give, that we can give, and support this community. We continue to take the strengths and the opportunities that we learn from each other to make the department, to make Laguna Honda even better than before. And nurses are so pivotal to that, right? The nurses of Laguna Honda, the nurses of Zuckerberg, the nurses in primary care, the nurses across the department are really the driving force on the front lines, understanding what's really happening in the community, being the people who are able to tell us, pay attention to this, listen to this, care for this. And I'm so proud that there were over 200 nominations for the Daisy Award at Laguna Honda. That's incredible. So good morning everybody, um, I have been asked to speak today about an exemplary nurse who worked here at Laguna Honda from 2000 to 2018, Anne Hughes. Anne's career spanned 43 years and we were fortunate enough that she spent 18 of them here with us at Laguna Honda. Anne personified the kind of human being the Daisy Award celebrates. She was smart, resourceful, always striving to learn more and to do better as a nurse. But above all, she was kind, empathetic and inclusive to both residents and staff. And she was all of that with a great sense of humor. Anne was known nationally and internationally for her work in both the fight against AIDS, 
and her work in hospice and palliative care. Anne was an inspiration to all of us. She certainly was to me. The Daisy Foundation was established in 1999 by members of Patrick Barnes' family. And Patrick Barnes passed away at the young age of 33 years old from an autoimmune condition, idiopathic thrombocytopenia, and spent a lot of time in the hospital and under the care of nurses and physicians. And after Patrick's death, the family got together to reflect on how they could best honor the special care and support that the nurses had provided to Patrick all throughout his illness and up to his death, and find a way to recognize the special profession of nursing. The family was so impressed by the clinical care that Pat's nurses provided him and the sensitivity that they provided him made such a great difference in all of their experience, not just Pat's experience, but also the family's experience. The family created the Daisy Award for Extraordinary Nurses to give a thank you from their family to all of you. And this has grown into a meaningful recognition it's across the world. What does it mean to be a great nurse? What do you want to see at the bedside when it comes to nursing? So I'm gonna read this nomination. And it's actually from a family member of one of our residents. My mother was a longtime resident of Salvador at Laguna Honda. While she dealt with liver cancer, her health really started to decline and she wasn't expected to live much longer than a few weeks. Visiting a person during COVID with the hospital's heavy restrictions was stressful, on top of dealing with losing my mother. Her nurse, Dave Osborne, who had cared for her for years, went above and beyond to make those visits more meaningful and stress-free as possible. David was so kind and caring he took the time to sit with me while we tried to encourage my mother to communicate with us while she struggled to stay alert. He shared stories with me about his time with her, which made me feel so much better knowing she was with people who cared about her. He was so patient and accommodating with me and my family members while we struggled to watch her fade away. I know my mom cared about David as well. Even his presence alone would improve her mood. When my mother passed away, I came to the hospital to say goodbye. She had already passed and it was beyond difficult for me, with limited visitors allowed and because of COVID. I had to go into her room alone, but I didn't feel alone because Dave was there the whole time. How could anyone ask for more compassion from a staff member? He didn't have to do that, but he did. A few weeks later, I, I held a service for my mother. And David attended, which meant the world to me. Having the opportunity to both grieve and celebrate my mom's life with someone who knew her, spent time with her, and cared for her when I couldn't was a blessing. I couldn't have asked for a better nurse for my mother while she was at Laguna Honda. David, if you read this, thank you. I want to thank you. Thank you. So when people ask what nursing is about, that is what nursing is about. So now, for the actual awards presentation. The awardee for the licensed nurse, I'm proud to say is Angela Boone.
charge nurse on North 6 uh, on the day shift. She started here in 2017 and I'm very proud to work with her. I have seen her when she first started. She went to many different units. She was always very open and honest and very calm uh, amid the storm and she was open to changes and always willing to lend a hand. Just this past week, there was a line of staff and residents literally waiting to talk to Angela. I would ask each and every one of them, can I help you? And they all said they're waiting for Angela. There were many nominations um, for Angela, and I will just touch base on a few of what they had said. Angela is very appreciative. She's great in communicating with the staff. She's respectful, professional on handling situations, soft-spoken, but always on point on getting the work done smoothly. Definitely one of a kind. She is patient with patients and staff, a great team leader, and a great team player. And she makes me feel good also. Our extraordinary third year award for this year goes to Kimberly Jacquis. I do have a couple of nomination um, statements that came from two residents of South Team. Since Kim has been working on South Team for the past year, I haven't had any desire to live in a modern hospital. No desire for your struggles, just from the time and effort she makes towards me. First and foremost, she has taught me to love myself, and I feel happy that she is at work. All the times Kim would just sit and talk with me, when she has time. For that, I love Kim all my life. Integrity 
and how that was the, the number one characteristic of a leader that we all need. And, you know, she's telling me great leaders don't need power because they they know they're good at what they do. And they make a consistent effort to appreciate others and recognize others. So, the person that actually is the awardee for the Leadership Award does this on a regular basis, and I've seen them do it. And that is Marvin Kroger. Thank you everyone. 